everyone in this video we are going to build an invoice entity extractor so you're able to upload an invoice document and you can extract an information an important information from your invoice okay and it's going to be in a table format so you can basically um, upload or export this detailed into an excel sheet for further analysis all right, so let's get into it. Before we get into that, if you don't subscribe my channel, please do hit the subscribe button to get more to content like this. So we are going to build this using the local CPU um, with a Lama 2, the quantized version 7B DGML. So we are going to be using that to do our um, instruction. So it's basically going to be locally. Um, everything is going to be done locally. Okay. All right, so let's get into it. So let me do a demonstration. It's gonna be an invoice that I made up. So it contains information of extraction, um, construction company. So it's called a perfect construction. So it is actually construction um, information between um, the construction company and an individual. Okay, so we are going to extract some information from this PDF file. Okay, All right. So let's get into that. I'm gonna do a straight um, a demo so we see how this works. So I'm gonna pull the PDF, I'm gonna put it in here, and it's going to run in here. Okay, perfect. So now it is printing out the number of pages of the invoice, and it has extracted every information or every detail here. All right, so we are now, we want to print out a table for the information that we want to extract. All right, so we are going to, I'm going to show you that through the code, how this is done. All right, so before we do that, I'm going to show you how um, some of the details that we are going to be using for the project, okay. All right, anyway, I'm going to put that into the description below so you can get the code into my GitHub repository, All right? So, okay, so the Lama 2 was what is what we are actually going to use, All right? And you can get that from this link, All right? The block, the block slash Lama 2. So I'm going to put a link there so you can, so we're actually going to use the quantized version, we're going to be using the four, the Q4, that is 7.3.79. Um, so you can probably choose any of the um, model that you prefer if you um, have or um, have enough space or memory, All right? So let's get into that. So if you have that downloaded, we are going to be storing that in here. Okay. All right and we can create an environment. Okay, so this is the environment that we created. Okay. And also we are going to use requirement. Requirement is going to be, so let me show you how you can create an environment. If you have, right, so this is how you do it. So you want to create the environment, you say Python dash M V E M V E M V and when you hit enter you're going to see that being created here and it's going to show up like this. This is very efficient if you have to create a project and it makes it easier for you to share your project to your friends. All right, so if for the requirements for the requirements you are going to use long chain streamlet pi pdf so long chain to create a chain for to create the uh, um, to extract the information streamlet for the application the pi pdf for the um, invoice document the hugging phase to um, create the llm models all right so if you want to install that you say yep so, R and A dot TXT and when hit enter 
everything is going to be installed for you. I have that installed already. So yeah, sure. For the project. In here, we have the code. All right, so we import Streamlet as SD. And from temp file, we are going to import the name temporary file. OK. Uh, before we do that, let's see. Um, table is being created. As you can see, we have the table of the information that was extracted. Right. So we have the invoice number. And as you can see, we have the invoice number right here. We have the invoice number and we have the bill to Jaden Smith, organization name, perfect construction address, Michael Owen date, 07 date due, due date, subtotal. So we have basically the information that we wanted to extract. All right. So let's get into building the application. Okay, so we import Streamlet as SD from for the application to create the app. Temp file, we are going to store the invoice file in a temp file. And we're going to name temporary, name temporary file. We're going to store, we're going to do the PI PDF to create, to extract the invoice. See transformers, so this is going to load the model from hanging face. And then I'm chain to create the chain to run the um extract the information and prompt template to put in our prompt right so we define function call main we create a street streamlet title okay so this is the invoice this is the title invoice entity extractor and we create um a variable we could call it SD the sidebar, so we do the file uploader. So upload a file and we say type is called to PDF. All right, so there we have it, upload a file. So we create this um, sidebar to upload a file, right? And this is it. So if upload a file, so if the file is uploaded, we save the uploaded file to a temporary location. So with name temporary file, we store the Delete score to fault. We don't want it to be deleted. And we call it temp file. So the temp file, we we write the uploaded file and we read it and we write it into the temp file. And we store the temp file, the name, we store it into the um, variable called the temp file name. And now we load it using the PI PDF loader from the temp file path. We load it into a loader variable and pages. All right, and pages, we store the variable into, we store the loader dot load um, pages, we store it into pages. And all right, so at this point, we print out the pages. So basically, is the content within the pages. We, that's, so the number of pages, we say length of pages and we write it so as you can see here we write the number of pages which is called to one because we only have one page and for page in pages we straight through the pages so when we say we write the content in the page and so we as at this point we write every content so if you don't want to write that you can go here and you delete this statement. You delete this um, this code from here. Okay, and that way it's not going to print anything when we run the code. Okay, all right. So now what we are going to do is we use the uh, the model. So we are going to say LLM is equal to, um, we load the models at T transform, C transformers. I used to load the models. And this is the name, the Lama 2 7 b chart, GGML is the Q, Q4. So we use the model that was downloaded. 
So that what we put in here. And we say model type is equal to Lama because you are using the Lama 2. And config is equal to the max new tokens. I chose 128. You can use any number you want. The temperature is equal to 0. Point. So this control the randomness of the output. All right, so template is equal to, so template is what we are going to, is actually, basically, this is what we're going to do the matching for us. So we are telling it to extract the invoice number, name of organization, address date, quantity, rate, tax number, and pages from the pages. So we're actually going to extract this information from the pages. So so you can just customize this to whatever thing that you want the, um, you want to get from the um, PDF, I'm sorry, the invoice. Okay, so if you want to get any um, information or based on your use cases, you can just change this, right? And we are saying the output is entity type. Okay, now we are going to pass the template to the prompt template. And we are going to say prompt template is equal to prompt template. The input variables, it can be the pages and the template. So I'm inputting this, the pages and the template, this one into the prompt template. And we are going to create a chain We're using the LLM chain. So we are saying LLM is equal to LLM, this one. So we are passing the, um, the model into the chain and the prompt, okay? So at this point, we are passing the prompt template and the model. So, so that's this this one is going to do the create the uh, the chain that is going to extract the information that we need. All right, and now we are saying resource is equal to chain dot run. So now we are running the pages and we are extracting just the first page. So you can basically, if you have no more pages, you can just leave it. And we are extracting basically extracting the. We only need the first page, so I only have one page, so you can customize this to meet the number of pages that you have. And dot page is equal to uh, the content, all right? Page content. So we, have to, we are using that to extract the information that we need. Now we are going to write it. So st.write, we extract the entities. So we write something like this. Right, so we write say extracted entities, and we are saying entities equal to results of script. So we are scraping every white page, and we are going to break it into different um, different lines using the slash n. So as you can see, it has been broken into different lines. Okay, and now we are saying that we are now want to put that into a table. We say we put that into a table name. So we are saying that, so we are going to, so this is basically a list comprehension. So we are going to iterate through each of the line. So for line entities, we are splitting each. Whenever we see a column, we want to split it. All right, and st.table, and we put everything in a table, All right? So basically, as you can see, this is what we have here, okay? So you can basically customize this to meet whatever um, need that you have. All right. I, yeah, sure. So you can play around with this code and let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share and see you in the next one.